when you're plugging these in that you're only running Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ Ryan Kilio. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Today is a great day because not only did I get my hands on one, but two original Klon Centaurs. Yeah! And why is this exciting? Because I've never actually played a real Klon. I've demoed a bunch of Klon copies, Klon clones, as they say, but I've never actually played a real deal Klon Centaur to compare them to. So today is gonna to be the very first time I'm getting to play a real Klon. But before we do, I wanted to thank Zach from Mythos Pedals. Thank you for the hat as well. He arranged uh, for me to borrow these. And in this video, I'm not gonna talk about the history of Klon. I'm not gonna talk about much because I really don't know that much about the uh, inner workings of these pedals, the history. All I know is that both of these pedals combined are worth more than my most expensive guitar, which is crazy. What I do know is that the gold one was the one that came first, and then the silver one came after it. This can go up to $4,000, $5,000. This one can go up to $2,000. That's a lot of money for a pedal, if you ask me. So really, I kind of just wanted to see what the hype was with these pedals. But yeah, so this video is just gonna be my very first initial reactions to real deal Klon Centaurs. So the way I wanna do this is, I think I wanna plug in the Silver Klon first. I'm gonna be checking it out through a couple of my amps. Uh, the first one being the Amplified Nation Steel String Sultan, which is a model of the Dumble Steel String Singer. So it's a, a clean, really good pedal uh, platform amp. And then I think I wanna check it out through the uh, Sir PT100, just because this is kinda like my do-all amp. I can check it through some of the overdrive uh, settings as well. And I think I wanna check it out with both a Strat and a humbucker style guitar like my PRS. Do I have any expectations? Well, I'm not sure if an overdrive pedal could totally blow me away, but I'm very curious to find out. The little bit I know about these pedals and from trying out the clones is they're really good at low to medium gain. They're supposed to be really amp-like and really transparent. I hate using that word, but that's what they say. So let's get on it. Okay, so I have the silver Klon plugged in. And what I did was I actually set it to just about unity gain. So uh, when I turn it on and off, it should sound pretty close to the same. Uh, here is my signal going through the uh, steel string Sultan. Klon on. Basically no difference, right? So the reason why I did this was I really wanted to test the transparency of the gain of this whole pedal. So I'm just gonna slowly play around with the gain knob and um, all the other stuff too. And just play around. Okay, just from those first few notes, 
Uh, I do sense that it is reacting kind of like a channel on an amp. So if you don't know, this amp pretty much stays clean. It doesn't get too overdriven. It's basically a clean platform amp, which is why I chose it to test this out. And the way that the Klon is working with this amp is, is kind of perfect. It almost sounds like it's overdriving the actual amp, you know, saturating the power tubes and getting that amp overdrive. And this idea of transparency, I'm kind of understanding what it means now. And it's why I started playing with it at the Unity Gain sound, just so I could see how it colors the amplifier sound. <laughs> So like I said, the Klon isn't meant really to be a high gain pedal or, you know, a distorted pedal, but the, the gain is all the way up and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> It's really interesting. Um, I would say right around three o'clock and above, the gain starts to get brighter, at least with this setup. <laughs> It actually sounds pretty good with the gain dimed. I think I do prefer it somewhere around here, maybe 12 o'clock or lower, just because I like the way it's making the amp react as if it were uh, the amp overdriving. <laughs> So I want to switch over to the uh, Sir PT100 and uh, check out the tones through there. All right, so here is the clean channel of the Sir PT100. It's a little bit uh, spongier or bouncier than the Steel String Sultan. I think the Steel String Sultan is kind of more in your face as far as the mids go. All right, so I have the Klon set to the Unity Gain sound and we're going to do the same thing.
So with this amp, I kind of like the gain a little bit above noon, kind of like this two o'clock area, uh, where if you remember with the Steel String Sultan, I kind of liked it a little below noon. So one thing I did want to do is um, check it out through one of the dirty channels to see if it you know, does any of that tightening up like other overdrive pedals or what. So here is my channel two kind of medium gain sound on this amp. One thing you can probably do is uh, keep the gain down and use the output knob as kind of like a boost, clean boost. Even that sounds killer. All right, but let's check it out with some gain. Definitely gives it a little more balls. It does tighten it up a little bit. This might not be the best guitar to be trying uh, that out with, but uh, in a little bit, I'm going to be moving on to my uh, humbucker style guitar, the PRS.
Quickly, I wanted to try it with the uh, humbuckers. Okay, that's pretty cool. Actually, that's really freaking cool. But let's not forget we have a second one to test out. We've got the gold Klon Centaur, uh, the big boy, the uh, the most sought after version, the more expensive one. Um, as far as I know, and Zach from Mythos told me that they're basically the same pedal, the same circuitry, but because of the different components that were used and the differences in tolerances, um, it's likely that they sound a little bit different, but we're about to find out. So let's plug this one in. And we're gonna do it through the steel string Sultan first again. Hey!
definitely hear some similarities between the two. Um, and I don't know if it's just me, but I almost feel like the silver one has a sweeter EQ curve. I feel like there's some frequencies popping out with the gold one that are kind of harsh. I don't know uh, if it's just me or what. You know what, let's put them together. Okay, so here we go. We've got both clons hooked up side by side uh, and I have it set roughly around the same. Um, so we'll see uh, if there's any big differences. See, already there I can notice a little bit of different uh, fullness in the silver one. It's almost like there's something in the low mids that's happening here that's not happen happening in the gold. And the gold is kind of sounding a little bit harsh somewhere in the uh, upper mids. <laughs> Definitely the silver one is sounding a little bit fuller. Put them all at 12. Everything at noon. the silver. All right, let's uh let's get him cranked up a little bit. The silver is sounding a little bit gainier, a little bit better with the uh, the gain up higher. Yeah, there's definitely something happening with the the bottom end uh, that I really like in the silver one. Uh, the gold one sounds good, good too, but the, the silver one is kind of blowing me away. My final thoughts are I definitely like the uh, silver clon a little bit more than the gold clon. That being said, I don't think I would be comfortable buying a clon without hearing it first. Just because it's evident that there are uh, variations uh, with the sound, uh, probably due to the variances in the components and everything. Now, would I spend thousands of dollars on one of these? Probably not. You know, I know these are collector's items, but I'm not really much of a gear collector. I don't have a lot of vintage guitars. I don't have a lot of sought after pieces as far as amps or, or pedals, but these are definitely one of a kind pieces. Uh, I, I'm kind of understanding uh, what the draw is to the sound after playing different types of overdrive pedals, not just clon clones, but, you know, comparing it to Tube Screamers and Nobles and Mostortions. This kind of does something different with it, the controls and being that it's a three knob overdrive, uh, it definitely acts a little bit different than say like a Tube Screamer. This definitely isn't the last video I'm going to do with these. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments, what did you think of these pedals? These are some of the most sought after pedals on the market today. 
Tell me what you guys thought of it. And let me know what you think about uh, people spending thousands of dollars on these. Would you? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click that thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos and guitar lessons, make sure you click the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. I'm RJ Ronquillo, and I'll see you in the next video.